All right, so we're back and we're going to be checking out one of Isotope RX6's new features, the D Russell function. Dan, it's all yours. Yeah, the D Russell is is really great for uh, lav mics uh, because we always get, or we often get unwanted uh, friction, and what makes it hard to go in and um, clean up with the regular spectral repairs and stuff like that is that it's a moving target. And it, it moves around a lot, and it can go from like rustling, just friction of, of clothes, to even thumps. Um, so the, the de Russell module is really geared towards the, the friction of these lav mics. Um, so here we have an example, a really extreme example, uh, and we'll see uh, what it can do with it. So let's give her a listen. Uh, I said, do you mean more hand claps, uh, guitars? What about a road trip? Um, what about music makes it sound like a road trip? Uh, but you can see that there's lots of rustling. We'll listen to the beginning part again. Uh, I said, do you mean more hand Right, so that's pretty extreme. And uh, with this extreme example, I'm pretty confident we can get to some good results. So um, D. Russell, little leaves as the uh, icon for the module. It's a pretty simple uh, module. There's reduction strength, and it, you can go from, it, this, this is your, your kind of like your threshold of where it's gonna start to remove uh, the, the noise and the amount of reduction you want to apply. Um, and it also, it's detecting what, again, it's part of the machine learning. So it's detecting what the voice should be in, in this signal. So the higher you go, it's, you get more of what the voice should be. But which is often needed, especially in a, a case like this, is, is we often need to go to the maximum, or, or in this case, I'm pretty sure, I'll just leave it at the maximum. Uh, what this is gonna do, so sure, it's detecting really what the voice should be, and it's gonna remove all the other stuff except it could get sometimes unnatural. You, know, you get some dropouts. Um, so we have ambience preservation here that kind of brings up a little bit of the noise floor and the natural ambience. So by playing with the reduction strength, isolating what the voice should be, uh, removing all the rustles, um, we then play around with the ambience preservation to kind of fill in. We don't want it to just drop out. Um, so let's give this a go at strength uh, 10 maximum, because this is an extreme example. And let's leave the ambience preservation off. And we don't have the preview or output noise only here. So we're gonna explore the, the, the compare function. So if I click on compare, what it did is it processed the audio into this um, uh, kind of like a buffer queue. So we have D. Russell settings one here. So I can listen to my original, I go preview. Uh, I said, do. And then I can listen to the settings we just applied and you can see the spectrogram change. And you can see here already, if, if we look, if we remember here along our um, amplitude scale, the brighter it is, the louder it is, and it goes down to black, right? Uh, being silence. So here we can see we completely dropped out. So this might sound unnatural. But let's give it a preview. Uh, I said, do you mean more hand claps, uh, guitars? Not bad, eh? Uh, except for the, the, the dropout, right? Yeah. But uh, if we focus in just on the rustling, I think it did a great job. Let's go back to the original to give you an idea. Uh, I said, do you mean more? And uh, after the removing settings. Uh, I said, do you mean more hand claps? So as I said, it kind of drops out, right? So we'll keep this setting one as a reference point and we'll just change the settings here. We'll bring up some ambience preservation. Let's bring it halfway. And if we hit compare again, you see the default uh, we have the, 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 sorry, the D. Russell. So if I hit compare, um, we get the second settings here that uh, we can audition. So here's with the dropout one more time. Uh, I said, do. So that kind of drops out completely. And now with a little bit of the preservation of the ambience brought back, we see that it's kind of noisier, right? And so let's listen to that. Uh, I said, do you mean more hand claps? So in this extreme example, I think a little bit of the, because uh, we're removing so much that it's going completely silent. Um, we bring back a little bit of the natural ambience and uh, kind of get the best of both worlds, right? Remember sometimes um, it's, um, it's, it's not about complete removal. It's uh, about uh, reducing. Uh, of course, in something extreme like this, if you had the time and budget, you know, and you notice it on set, just re-record it. 
but if we're stuck with this in post-production, we can still do a good job. Uh, another little nugget might be that uh, you can run these two or three times at lesser settings on top of each other, and sometimes you get to a more transparent result. Mm. So um, as we can see, in an extreme, even in extreme settings, it still manages to save the audio. Yeah, it seems like a, an amazing tool to, to have access to. And so, actually, a question for you in terms of um, its application in a musical sense. Do, can you think of anything where, where this would be uh, useful for a musical setting? Or um, Yeah, I'm trying to think now that you're asking. Um, well, because there, there is, um, I was thinking maybe like in, in Foley or, uh, well, it's not music, but um, anytime a microphone, if anything rubs up against the microphone, but usually in music, no. I mean, um, we're miking from a distance, right? It's really the lav that's on top of, of an actor mm. uh, and in this situation where they're moving a lot. So that's where we usually have the friction. Of course, there's ways of, of protecting your lav so you don't get uh, rustle. But uh, off, off the top of my head, I don't see any, this is really one of these specialized tools, in, in my experience anyway, so very specialized for this, this application. Mm. Yeah, awesome. Whoa! Thanks, Nick. Great, man. Awesome. We'll uh, we'll keep going with uh, with other new features.